Okay, and we are back. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Okay, yeah, what are those blue lights over there? I'm not coming up here. What is this? Four and a Zen machine. Okay. Oh, there we 
go. A couple more farms, all right. Having all of gold shark. Okay. Some more gold sharks there. Turtles. Mm. 
Okay, that bird seems to be glitched. Dude, get out of the way, dog. Been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Can you tell me about the tannery? A man named Paul. Uh -huh. Fog rolled in a year back. He left the harbor recently. Uh huh. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. Mariner. All manner of good I can do with those tools. Curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at Then go and take it. I got get problems in my own. Dire straits. You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve it. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you. That you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Okay, I would love to change, have them change uh, their mind about me. I'd love to change their opinion of me. Do it right. And all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, 
they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this, well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to become, I'm a, legend, ready to then. become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Mirelurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Cool. Thanks. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully completed. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Thanks. <laughs> really, it's no trouble. Well, I hope you know how much it means to me that Grandpa George can finally rest in peace. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Yep. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat. Yeah, I, I Turns don't care. out their leader was uh -huh. you. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll make, the I'll make that pay. trapper pay. All right. Mm -hmm. Remember. All right. Uh, times. Oh, okay. If you ain't armed, you ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. Huh. <laughs> the mainlander. Yep. Great. Fire your gun. Yeah, screw you. Alright, see you next time.